Kat. How are you? I'm, I'm a little frazzled, actually. What? Um, so this weekend I'm going camping in my backyard, which I'm really excited about because it's spring and it's lovely outside and I haven't gotten to go camping yet, um, this year, but I'm sitting here, I've gone camping before, but it's been so long and it's been so, it's so different. It's like, okay, what do I need to do to make sure I'm all good for camping in my backyard? I just, I don't know. I, it's, ah, it's stressing me out. <laughs> well, if you want, I can give you a couple of pointers. Gosh, would you, that would be, uh, just to have someone else to bounce off some stuff off of would be fantastic. Because I've got like this cute big backpack and I'm just like, oh my gosh. So no Thank problem. You. Actually, I would say that um, camping out it, at home or like in your backyard is kind of just like camping at camp or like a campground. There's just a couple different things that you have to do. Um, but a lot of things are similar. So I have a couple things I could tell you to keep in mind when you're going. Um, so, I mean, I guess the first thing is obviously where. So where are you planning to go camping? I am planning to go camping in my backyard courtyard right over there. Perfect. Like not, not inside, outside. Um, so... If you were going like to a campground, another thing you'd want to keep in mind is how will you get there? I mean, it's still a good idea to know how you'll get to your courtyard, but probably I'll not. I'll be walking this time. Maybe hop, you know, I don't know, skip. Fun. Um, the next thing that you should keep in mind when you're planning a camping trip is when you're going camping. So do you know when you're going to do this camping trip? Uh, this weekend, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll, yeah, so this weekend. Is it going to be, is it going to be like the whole weekend? Is it going to be just one night? Length uh, of probably, you know, I'm going to try for both nights. Like, okay. just sleep in my tent for both nights outside. It sounds fun. Um, then the next, the big thing when you're planning a trip is the what of planning. So the first thing is, you know, what do you need to bring with you? So things like, where are you going to sleep? What are you going to eat and drink and other gear? So, I mean, I think you said you were going to sleep in your tent, right? Yeah. And I got a ton of stuff in here right now. So, yeah. But we, and maybe we can talk about that at the end. Cause I know that gets like, I have a lot of stuff and I, that's packing not lists, yeah. Packing lists are super important when we're camping. Yeah. So we can definitely really talk are. about that in a little bit. Um, another big thing to know about, um, is what the weather forecast is going to be, because if you're sleeping in a tent, I mean, you want to make sure that the weather's going to be good for that. And you if you can. Learn. Yeah. I'll make sure to keep an eye. I know the weather in the Midwest can change a lot, so I'll, I'll keep an eye on that as we go into the weekend, make sure I'm all set up for that. That's a good plan. Um, and then other things, um, when you're planning so you want to know what's available or allowed at your campsite um so if you were you know going to a campground knowing what the bathroom situation was if you could have a campfire because campfires are the best part of camping um what your water source is so like if you need to have water um, for drinking or cooking or washing and where you'll get it so that's all stuff to know but i have a feeling that you have a pretty solid plan for that if you're yeah. just camping at home. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't think, the neighbors don't like the dog poop, so I was probably just gonna use my own bathroom and my own water, come inside when I need to get that. Um, I know the campfire could get a little tricky, but I might see if we can go to a nearby park or a um, backyard to do a fire, use someone's fire pit so that we're not starting a fire, where I shouldn't be starting a fire. That sounds like a good idea. It sounds like you have a really good plan for all of that. Um, the next big what thing is then, what are you going to do when you get to your campsite? Like, do you have any plans for fun things to do Dude, while you're camping? Yeah. I have some writing I want to do. And I have, I'm going to pre-charge my Kindle so I can read all of my books that I haven't been reading lately. Um, and just kind of take it easy and chill in my tent and, make, and keep the flap open, enjoy some sunshine, hopefully. That sounds like a nice relaxing trip. Um, the, the next thing when you're planning is the who. So 
uh, who are you going with? You might be going by yourself, but if you're planning to go with someone else, it's good to know. Um, it's good to plan in advance. And then even if you're going with someone or you're going by yourself, it's also good to have someone who knows where you're going and how long you plan to be gone. Do you have that figured out yet? Yeah, usually if I'm going on a camping trip somewhere, I let my I let my parents know so that they, if I don't come back on time, they can then know where to go next. That's always a good plan. Um, and then um, the other big thing when you're planning for a trip is knowing how much the trip will cost and how you're going to pay for it. Yeah, and I know some of the some of the camping trips I've gone on have I've had to really think about that and plan that in so I'm ready to go. Um, this one I think it's just going to be the cost of the special chocolate I got for my gourmet s'mores. I think that sounds good. Um, I'm glad well you know what Kat I know you said you were really worried but it sounds like you have a really solid plan already in place and you kind of have a good idea of what you need to do. I but, just, it's nice to talk it through with someone, you know? Like, it is. It really is. Um, but we should also talk a little bit about gear because that is yes. a huge part of camping. So we want to make sure that you have everything you'll need for, for your big camping trip this weekend. So I think the first thing, which is kind of the most important thing to have when you're camping, is what I like to call the Fab Five. So that's the five things that you should keep with you at all times in, in your backpack or your day bag or whatever you call it while you're on your camping trip. It's, and it's even like, you know, whether you're, you know, at your campsite, things you should have with you or if you're leaving for a little bit. Um, so I see you have a backpack right there. So the five things that we want to make sure you always have in it is um, a flashlight. Um, that's super important um, because you want to be able to see when it gets dark. So you've got a nice headlamp there. Um, even if, you know, it's the middle of the day and you think, oh, it's silly to carry around a flashlight. Sometimes, like you said, the weather changes and might get dark sooner or you might not get back to your campsite until dark. So always having a flashlight. Um, the next thing is that you want to make sure you have sunscreen with you at all times and that you're regularly applying and reapplying it. Um, because that'll help protect your, um, your skin from the sun. And it's also important, no matter what time of year you're going camping, that you have that sunscreen with you. Um, and then we also want to make sure that we always have bug spray um, to protect yourself, yourself from the bugs. Um, sometimes, um, depending on where you're going camping, that's one of those things you should look into rules before you're going because sometimes some places don't allow aerosol cans, but it looks like you're all set for your backyard camp out. Um, and then another thing you always want to make sure that you have with you is a poncho or a raincoat to protect yourself from the rain if the weather changes. That's a nice looking character. Um, and then you also want to make sure, this is like super important, that you always have a water bottle with water in it so that you're staying hydrated. And you always want to make sure that you're drinking that water too regularly throughout the day. Because being hydrated is super important and it'll help give you lots of energy to have a fun camping trip. Um, so those are our fab five. A flashlight, sunscreen, bug spray, poncho or raincoat and a water bottle um, all in your backpack. Um, like I said, those are the things that we want to make sure you have with you, those five essential things you have with you at all times. But there are also um, some other things that you should plan to bring with you and other gear when you're going on your trip. Um, so some of those things which, and some of these might be things that, you know, you maybe have in your house, you don't need to pack them for your backyard camping trip, but always good to keep in mind to make sure you have them. Um, so the first thing is water. Um, so knowing how, you know, you have your water bottle, but knowing how you're going to get more water is also important. Uh, and if you were, and if you were going like on a backcountry trip or at a campground, knowing if you needed to like purify your water or 
um, filter it in some way. That's also important gear to have with you. Um, kind of along the same lines of water, something else important to have with you is food. Um, <laughs> food is super important to have. Um, so planning your menu out ahead of time is always a good idea because then you can make sure you have all of the food you need when you're on your trip. Um, so you want to make sure for the whole length of time that you're going to be on your trip that you plan for your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and at least one snack during the day. Maybe two. Yeah. Many snacks as you need to keep that energy. Too. Um, and then um, food safety is also important because you want to make sure that if you are bringing your food with you, that you're storing it so that it, I mean, stays fresh and doesn't go bad, but also so that animals don't get into it. Cause we, it's, it's no fun. It's not fun. You can't eat no, it then. It's, it's, yeah, you can't it's eat like it. You don't want it to eat the animals if they really get into your food. Yeah. Um, then you also want to make sure, speaking of food, that you have your mess kit with you so that your dishes that you're eating on. So, you know, a non-breakable plate, Cup and silverware in a mesh dunk bag. There you go. Handle, you got that right there. Um, and then um, also just any other cooking equipment you might need, depending on what your menu is. Um, then you also want to make sure that you have clothes to wear with you. Um, and this also um, depends on, you know, the time of year that you're going camping. So if, you know, the weather's going to be super hot, you know, making sure that you have like a, a shirt, like a, just a regular short sleeve shirt and shorts is always good. But you also want to make sure that you have at least one pair of long pants because, I mean, we've already said the weather can be unpredictable sometimes. And I mean, especially at night, it tends to get chillier, especially right now in the spring. The weather can change a lot day to day. Um, so. Uh, pants. Oh, and also like a jacket or a sweatshirt so that again, you can layer. It's always good to have extra layers you can put on and then take off as you don't need them. Um, and then also things like pajamas, socks, underwear, shoes, all important things to have with you. Um, and uh, oh, I forgot one more thing about clothes. I don't know if you have a pool in your backyard, cat. Yeah. But if you were planning to go swimming on your camping trip, don't forget to bring your swimsuit and a towel because you want to have fun. I can fill a bucket with water and splash in it. It's not quite the same. I mean, it could be fun though. Yeah. Um, and then you also want to make sure that you have um, some personal items that you might need, like a hairbrush, deodorant, toothpaste and a toothbrush, stuff like that so that you can still be taking care of yourself and being healthy that way while you're on your trip. Um, you also want to make sure that speaking of being healthy, you bring a first aid kit with you and that you know how to use it too. Um, it's always good to have someone who's certified in first aid with you. Um, and then if you have any medications that you need to take, whether it's um, like an inhaler or an EpiPen in case of emergencies, that you have them with you in your first aid kit so that you're ready. Um, I mentioned this a little bit already when we talked about clothes, but you want to make sure you have appropriate shoes for your camping trip too. Sneakers are usually okay, but sometimes people also like to wear hiking boots, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of walking. They can help give your feet a little extra support. I always like to wear my hiking boots when I'm camping. I think they're really, um, they're really good for that. Um, you also want to make sure that, um, especially if you're gonna have a campfire, that you bring matches and that you keep them in a waterproof container because it's really hard to use matches when they get wet. They kind of don't work anymore. Um, and it's no fun if you're all ready to go for a campfire and then you can't do it because the matches got wet. Um, it's happened to me before. Um, Actually, I also have my lighter here as a backup. Oh, perfect. Having a backup for some things is also super 
important and a good idea if you have the space for it. Um, there's just a couple more things that we want to make sure we bring. Um, so one of them is um, a map of the area and, and a compass if you have it and know how to use it so that you know how to get around your location for where you're camping. Um, even if it seems like it's pretty straightforward, it's always good to have a map because maybe you might end up somewhere that you weren't expecting to and you can try and find yourself on the map and help you get back to where you need to go. Um, I also know a lot of times maps will have emergency numbers on them, which can be useful if you get into a sticky spot. Yes, that is a very good point. It's always good to have that sort of information with you in case you need help. Um, then uh, a super important thing that we haven't really mentioned yet is that you need some form of shelter. So you need to have something that you're sleeping in. So do you know what you're planning to sleep in for your trip, cat? I do. I do. I have my tent here, uh, which I have my rain. This is the rain fly and the footprint. And then the tent trapper right here. So this Perfect. is what I'm sleeping in. Perfect. A little you two are, and a half person tent. We're all set. Um, I think it's, uh, it's good that you have that rain fly in case it does start raining. Um, and then for inside your tent, it's always good to bring a sleeping bag and a pillow so that you, you know, have your things that you're sleeping in. I actually, I have a sleeping pad too because um, I like a little cushion. That's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. Um, I'm going to add that to got, my list of essential items. My sleeping bag right here. Perfect. And you can be all cozy and warm when you're sleeping in your tent at night. Do you have any questions about any of that, Kat? It sounds like you're pretty prepared. You had all of that stuff that was on my list. Yeah, I am pretty excited. I am excited to get camping. Thank you for talking it through with me. I know sometimes it just it's a lot and it's nice to talk. It, it is good to talk these things through and I'm glad. It sounds like you're gonna be really prepared and you're gonna have a great time camping this weekend. Good. I'm super jealous. So I might have a camp. I might go camping in my you backyard. You totally should. You totally should. It's so much fun to go camping, especially if you can do it like in your backyard or even in your living room. That might be even more fun. I think there's less bugs in my living room. Good point. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm really glad we could have this conversation. And like I said, it sounds like you're gonna have a great time on your trip. So I hope I hope you do have lots of fun. And I hope you tell me all about it next week well, after. I definitely your time. will. All, all right. right. Well, thank you, Strife. You're welcome, Kat. And I will see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye.